So hey guys, today in this video, I show you how do you make set up a VNC server with a desktop on your Google Cloud VM. So when you create a new Google Cloud VM, you usually only get access to SSH, which is not very convenient if you want to find a browser or something, or if you're just running sort of deep learning with TensorFlow, and it's difficult to get you know. Um, tense board running on your PC but actually getting logs from the VM. So in this video I'll show you exactly that. How do you add a desktop environment and access it from your PC? So you can just create a new instance of your project in Google Cloud. I'm just gonna make it very small because I'm gonna be deleting this anyway. And make sure to allow these two. And let's make it free. So it's gonna take time to create, and I'll be back when it's done. Bye. So as you can see, it's created, and it's up. It's up and running. So what you can do, you can just so first just shut it down, then just shut it down. Then go this three bars. Then go to under networking. You'll see VPC network. Go there and click on five firewall rules. So you need to create a new firewall rule that allows you to kind of access the VNC server. It's like port forwarding. Name just give a name. Then priority. You can just leave it whatever it is. Make sure direction of traffic is ingress, action match allow, targets. You can do this, but to make it kind of more organized, just in the target tags, put whatever you want, but remember it. I'm just gonna put VNC server. And source IP ranges 0, 0, 0, 0, slash 0. And then specified protocols into it ports tcp just make sure it is 5800 to 6000 mm, okay then click on create but I, I already have this so i'm going to skip it it's going to take some time to create and after it's done come back to computes then uh, compute engine then vm instances then go back to instance and click on edit and then you have this network tags just add whatever you did there it's vnc hyphen so for me then just go full down and then click on save it's gonna take some time and i'll be back when it's done so it's finished and you can just start it and it's going to take some time then you will have this SSH option just click on that so the final result will be like this so why so as you can see it started then you have this SSH button just click on that and then it's just going to transfer the SSH keys and then join using SSH it's just gonna connect to the VM so when you kind of make a new machine you are limited limited to the command prompt or terminal only so just wait for it to connect and then you can connect so it's first word it's gonna take some time so after it's done kind of starting you need to enter this command sudo at get update and space and sudo at get upgrade just want to update and upgrade 
and then we'll just do that. So after it's done, it's gonna take some time. So after it's done, so after it's done, you just need to enter this command: sudo apt get and still okay. We can add that. I'll just put these commands down in the description. So yeah, all of these. It's just gonna install it and it's gonna take some space because you know it's GUI and all that stuff. So just select your cable layout while it's going and it's gonna take a long time, so uh, I'll be back again later. Okay, so it's done. So what you'll do after that is wait a second after that. You're just going to start the VNC server once so that it kind of makes all the configurations files and all. So just enable VNC server. Then the input or whatever password you want. If you put something that's more than 8 characters long, it'll be short to pick. So I'll just put whatever. Password. Wait for it. And then. So it'll make these files. So when these files are made, we can just sort of just do nano inside them and edit them. So but before that we need to stop the servers. So dot server stop volume one. Sorry, not stop. Kill. After that, we can edit it. So just do sudo nano and then just stop like that. Control C, Control V. Yeah. So just delete all of that. And then I'll put something that is. I'll put the what the new contents in the description. Just copy and paste that. It's here. So I'll just take that from there. This was my previous VM. Yeah, all of this. Just copy that. It'll be in the description below. And paste it. Yeah. So one thing you can do is edit the geometry. You can make it 1080 by 720 for 720p, but I just have a 1900 by 600 monitor, so I'll just put that for me. I'll just put 1080. So you can just put whatever you want. I got 1080x720. Make sure the aspect ratio is the same. Okay, and then you can just do Control X, Y, Enter. Then you can start the VNC server again. And yeah, good. So this time, what you can do? Just so after that, there you go. That's your VNC server. So after that, you can just go back. And then search for Mm, tight VNC viewer. So you can use any VNC viewer, but I just like this one because this is basically the same VNC server running on a VM. So just click on this. If it doesn't work, if you give some error, click on that. And then open it and install it. I have it installed, so I'll just start it. Okay, so then go back to your era, click on this. So then, hey, boy, too low. Yeah, so this is your instance. Just copy that. And then, yeah, just control B, folding, try 901. Connect. 
and then password whatever you put that time and just password and there you go that's it you have a VNC you can do that I'm just gonna oh, just get all content and there you go so this is your VM just the VNC so I tried using GNOME but it did not work so there you go and again if you use a region that's far away from where you stay it'll be laggy like this yeah it's gonna take time so use a virtual machine that's closer to you or yeah no luck so we just close that so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like and share the video bye if you have any doubts just comment them down below